morning guys welcome to a little travel vlog today james and i are heading to cornwall for the weekend and we've decided we're going to be here from saturday through till wednesday and just have a last little use of our tent and just spend a really nice weekend together to see out the summer because it's very very likely that we're not going to have much more hot weather after this random freak early september heat wave that we've currently got so we thought we'd make the most of it we booked a campsite that was like 60 to 90 pounds for the weekend i think that was it i can't remember so really really cheap we've obviously already got the tent and stuff the boots packed up so we're just going for a little inexpensive weekend away to penzance and then we're actually going to be going on to nuki for a couple of nights as well because we've been gifted a hotel very kindly but i am so excited if you haven't seen my video before we actually went to cornwall at the beginning of summer exactly two months ago actually and we did like senon cove we did land's end we did st michael's mount what else did we do there was quite a few bits wasn't there yeah, we did quite a lot but this time we're going to be doing completely different things so we're going to try and get to see other parts of the area and stuff and just kind of explore a little bit more i'm very excited to get back in our little tent house are you very much so. i cannot wait i love our tent it's so nice and it's so cozy i just can't wait to have all the fairy lights up i've bought my udi life is good like we've literally crammed the car fun story i was convinced we'd fit this in my fiat 500 so i actually told james that we should just bring my car I think I was very wrong in that decision and I'm very glad that we didn't try because I think we would have failed. <laughs> we, I think it would have fit, but we'd have had to bring less clothing yeah. and I think I wouldn't have been able to see it and you'd have been squished. Oh, yeah. So I'm glad that we made the decision to bring a bigger car. <laughs> maybe like, no, I was gonna say maybe next time I'll drive, but I literally can't because it's never gonna fit because we need all the stuff that we've got. So anyway, I'll catch up in a bit because the lighting is going in and out and it's really annoying me. So it's probably really annoying you catch up with you in a little bit. as you can probably tell we put our tent up we've got changed and everything and it's five o'clock and we're back on the road and we're going to head to mouse hole mousel i don't know how you say it we said mouse hole the sound of saying mousel so take what you will from that and i think our plan is just to have a little mooch around see what's there maybe grab a little coffee or something and a little bite to eat and then we're going to grab some bits for dinner and then obviously eat back at the campsite and cook ourselves something yummy i think like i said earlier we're going to do fajitas just because it's really easy like you just have to cook the chicken and it's kind of that's it then you're done so that's going to be our dinner um tent went up really easily however between the two of us we somehow managed to lose the adapter that goes into the car and charges the airbed so we ended up having to borrow one from the campsite which is fine but we're staying at a really small campsite called stream valley and it's so tiny there's like 20 plots or something and then there's two static homes that have like hot tubs and stuff but it's really nice and small so everyone's really friendly it's really quiet like it's just so nice especially compared to the last one we stayed out that was quite a lot bigger it's just really nice to be in a small one where you just feel like everyone's really friendly and it's nice and chilled and it's just quiet like i think that's the ultimate thing that we really wanted was somewhere quiet and somewhere where we wouldn't have to think too much about like noisy neighbors or like worry too much about showers and stuff which is the only thing to be fair that this one has that we didn't realize is you have to pay one pound to use the shower and you get 10 minutes of water which is not too bad like there's only one shower per like for women and one for men however it's really small campsite and obviously people with camper vans sometimes do have the ability to shower in their campers so they don't need it as much but i think it's going to be completely fine because there's only us and five other um plots that are being used so it'll be completely fine we can obviously just pick and choose our time around other people or go early or whatever <clears throat> but yeah we're on the way to get some coffee and some food and just have a little look around because this is somewhere we didn't come last time and we're both excited to have a little look around aren't we yeah. james is obviously over here he's wearing his little paris jumper which i steal on a regular basis i've actually been asked what that's from in vlogs because i've worn it and people like yeah. it yeah <laughs> So yeah, he's wearing his little Paris jumper. I'll leave it linked, it's actually really nice. And then I'm wearing this little t-shirt from H&M that just says like West Coast on the front. It's like a really nice kind of gray blue and I've got some jeans on and my Burks, which I wasn't gonna bring, but someone told me that I'd need them because it's gonna be warm. So I'm very glad I listened to that person because I've got them with me and I'm really glad that I do. We've parked very uh, suspect here. <laughs> 
it's fine, but it's very um, balanced on the edge, shall we say. cute here it's like the cutest little probably not that sleepy normally but because excuse me <laughs> but because we've come at like 10 to 6 now i think it's just nice and quiet because everyone's winding down like the shops are shutting the sun's gone that's beautiful we haven't really found food because we've just been too busy like looking around at everything but i think we might try and maybe head to the pub because there's a little pub on the front do you want to maybe go there yeah. for a drink yeah. and then head back I guess but it's so nice here and there's loads of kids like jumping in and swimming and it's just nice to hear like kids playing like seagulls and stuff and yeah just having like a nice chilled one after our day of being in the car it's nice to just walk around and just like be outside and feel that like I don't know how you explain it but you know when you are near the sea and you get that like sticky salty skin and it just feels really like just you don't get anything like it unless you're by the beach so I love that that's one thing I'm really enjoying and James has got my sony camera he's just playing around with it because he loves taking loads of pictures and stuff so i've given him the camera this trip so he can have a little play around and see what he can get and he's loving it so i don't know what we're going to end up with but i'm sure quite a lot of nice pictures we've just got back to our tent and i thought i would give you a quick tent tour slash like house tour this is basically our first inflatable purchase together <laughs> so we're going to give you a little quick tour of what we've got our setup like because it looks really cute today and i'm really impressed with like how we've made it look especially considering we set it up in about 45 minutes so this is what it looks like okay so this is the outside this is our little tent so this is like the kitchen area i guess and like the living area so we just bought this from a place called on by and basically it's just like a little camping kitchen so it has a little like thing to cover the wind so that the flame doesn't go out and then this is like our storage bit where we've got all of our food and drink obviously the cool box on the side which has like the extra bits and pieces in this is actually a mesh window but we've got it covered at the moment but i think we need to open it for cooking just so the air and stuff goes out and like all the flames and smoke and stuff then we've got our fairy lights in the middle one over here got a little lantern there which needs to be turned on and then this is our little like dining area i guess you could say got a nice small table and i think it just fits perfectly like if i walk back out it's like the perfect size for this little room especially because we don't have that much space and then this is our little sleeping quarters so this side is kind of where we've dumped all the bags and it technically is two different areas and you can put a little divider thing in the middle but we've kind of pushed the bed out a little bit and just had it as one big room and it works so much better because you can just climb out of bed and get changed and stuff and then these both close obviously and then we've got a little air bed here which i'll link it's from amazon lovely nice little headboard on there just so the pillows don't go flying off the back and it's just cute i love it it's literally my favorite thing i love our tent so much i think it's so cute and it's like so us and it's so cozy and like oh, i just love it so we're now going to make some fajitas and just have like a really yummy little dinner have some snacks and stuff we also got a bottle of wine chosen for the aestheticness i got to the hidden seas which is a south australian rose but it looked really cute so we got that oh got that and then we also have these glasses which i picked up from tesco's for two pound each before we went on the first trip and i'll link our bowls and stuff as well because these are bamboo and they came in a set of four so you had four plates four bowls spoons cups etc um came with the full shebang and they came in slightly different colors so we bought the neutral and the pink but there's also a blue and a green so yeah let's get cooking babe i'll pour the wine you cook the chicken <laughs>
fajitas are made. I am so hungry, I can't tell you. We've got wine on the go, we've got the fajitas. We also grabbed some of this. So this is one of like the best things ever. It's called chipotle salsa and it's so good. We've had it before and then I also got some chili mayo because I can never have too much spice in my life to be honest. Love a bit of spice so we're gonna... Did you see it off my knees? Oh So we're gonna enjoy enjoy our dinner and then i'll catch up with you either later or tomorrow because i don't know what we're going to do for the rest of the evening but it's only it's only half seven no half eight sorry and i'm pretty tired i think james is pretty tired probably just gonna have a really chilled one play some uno chill read a book i don't really know but just a really chilled one aren't we yeah i think i'm gonna get in bed and read a book and you're probably gonna browse like basketball or something <laughs> Pretty standard. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's 8am and we're heading out for a long walk this morning so got up nice and early, had some porridge which is why we've got the little whistling kettle over here and we're going to try and get out for a really nice long morning hike and then I think this afternoon we might head over to St Ives but we're not 100% sure so we'll see where the day takes us. My hair is getting progressively straighter and larger with the humidity like it just doesn't look, it looks a bit dishevelled but we're gonna go with it because there's literally nothing else that I can do. I did have it curled yesterday, but it's just, I mean, we're in a tent. I don't know what I expected, but obviously it's not gonna stay perfectly straight or anything, so. Yeah, we're gonna head off. I might, to be fair, just put sunglasses on my head. Yeah. Problem solved. <laughs> Switch to a different pair of sunglasses, but same concept. It's just holding my hair out of my face because it's one of those mornings where it's really cloudy, but it kind of feels a bit drizzly, but it's not. So like, how would you explain it? It just feels a bit damp, doesn't it? But it's not actually raining. Dewy. Dewy, that's a good word, I like that. Dewy, that's what it feels like. So it's a bit like, just misty, but nothing that's an issue. It might mean that our hike is a little bit less scenic, but it might actually be quite cool because sometimes I really love when you hike on like a misty day and you get that really cool like hazy look when you take pictures and stuff. And it is getting progressively more misty. <laughs> My hair is going to be so funny later. It's just very, like there's like basically rain on your windscreen but it's not, it's just misty. I'll leave the link down below to the walk that we're doing because we used a website last time called I Walk Cornwall and it was really good for giving us a specific walk that we wanted to do and it gives you like directions and stuff so you can't really get lost and it follows you on a GPS so as soon as you hit a point it will like ping you and say okay go this, this way this way um, and it pings to my watch as well which is really handy so I can leave my phone in a backpack and just kind of navigate from my wrist because it buzzes me so I'll leave a link to that down below and to the walk that we're going to do because we're doing Porth Kerno. Um, it's like a circular one that goes like past the Minac Theatre and stuff so fingers crossed it's fine um, and it's a good walk but I'll also leave like the other one we did which was in my last vlog which we did Selling Cove to Nant Giselle but we kind of did it across two different days but they had a really good eight mile circular which is what we didn't end up doing the whole thing of but either way really good app really recommend getting it if you are someone who likes doing a good walk when you go somewhere we're a bit like a bit of both we like going to cities and we like doing that kind of thing but we also love like, oh but we also love a good walk and like just being outside so yeah I don't know if you can really grasp this on the camera but it's so misty you can barely see there's like there's houses there and you can barely see them until you're up close that. you can barely see the church that's right here we're thinking it might be a change of plan on on the hike because we're not gonna see anything if it's this misty. Like it's so, so, so foggy. If we can, but like we were just driving along and you could barely see a tree that was no more than 300 yards in front of us. So is there much point of doing a walk where you can't see anything? 
I'm thinking not. <laughs> it's really annoying though, because that would have been such a nice thing to do this morning, but we just can't see anything. We could still head down to the beach and maybe get a coffee in a little coffee shop. It's just whether anything's open because it's Sunday. Oh no. Maybe let's get to the beach and we'll assess when we get to the beach because we're still like eight minutes away. It might not be as bad. Let's go there anyway. Yeah, let's, let's go anyway. We'll go see the beach. I mean, even if we just do the little walk up to the Minak Theatre and then back down again. Do you know what I mean? That'll still be all right. We'll do that maybe. But it's just looking like hike will be quite pointless because if we can only see a very small amount around us we're not going to see out to sea we're not really going to see like the scenery around us it's just going to be very like meh so we'll see it's potentially i'd say it's like a 50 50 at the moment whether we do this walk or not but hopefully we do if we don't then it's for a good reason not because we're being lazy <laughs> I've lost the little wind muffler, so this might be really noisy, and I apologise in advance, I need to get another one. But we've decided to just come down to the beach and not go on the hike because you just can't see anything. But the beach is beautiful, so we're going to have a little wonder here instead. I'll put you on a time lapse because you won't be able to hear anything. Mount Laurel high fives for miles in spring. Rainbow trout and hummingbird. Just to address the first thing, yes, we have been back and done like face, changed, etc. But we did bail on the hike because I'll be honest, you just couldn't see anything. Like we went to the beach and thought, right, if we get to the beach and it looks really nice and we can see enough, then we'll dra try and brave the walk. But you couldn't see anything. Like you just couldn't really see anything. We thought, let's leave it. We'll have a bit of a like play around on the beach, have a little look around, just enjoy being on the beach and then come back to the tent, change and head into St Ives early. So we're going to try and grab like a little coffee and maybe like a cake or something somewhere. Have a little look around the shops. There's actually a shop that I was meant to go into last time who messaged me called the St Ives Co. So we're going to try and find that and head in there because they've got like beautiful home decor bits and like just nice things. So we thought we'd pop in there. We're just gonna kind of see where we go, see what happens. And then, like we said before, your sister and her partner are in St. Ives from this afternoon. So we might meet them for dinner or like just a late afternoon mooch or something. I don't really know. Um, and yeah, just basically spend the afternoon in St. Ives because we saw it last time, but I don't feel like we really took it in and we didn't really see that much of it because we weren't there very long. So it'd be nice to just kind of see it and be there and get the most of it, to be honest. But yeah. The mist has gone. My hair has, I mean, my hair's just an experience right now. It's just very big. So we're just, we're going with it. We're just letting it do its thing, basically. Oh, for a quick outfit as well, because I did say I would show my outfits every day. So I've just got on this ASOS jumper, which I will link down below. It's actually a weekday one, but via ASOS. Then I've got my cream and other stories, favorite cut jeans, and you can't see them, but I've also got my docks on. And then for my bag, I've just got my little Zara number, which looks a lot more expensive than it is. I bloody love it. Um, and I'm also gonna be wearing my Burberry trench, which is in the boot, because I wanna spring a trench coat with me. We've had our little coffee and cake break and we're gonna have a little pot around St Ives. So we've just come into the harbour bit, which is like my favourite part of St Ives, it's so beautiful. And I think then we're gonna head up into the shops and just like see what's around, see what's there. I know there's really cute little home shops and like bookshops and stuff. So I wanna have a little look around those and just see what we can find. And then potentially have some fish and chips. But I do remember that round here, seagulls are very like divey. Like they, they just go. So I'm very wary of getting anything to eat that we can have outside. Did you 
you can come to the seaside if you didn't get some fish and chips. No, you didn't. <laughs> this little guy has not stopped watching us. He literally just ran because James <laughs> dropped a chip, ran the whole way back down to scare some other bird off so that he could get the chip. Little rascal. I see you there. I see you watching for my chips. I see you. Found a hidden gem. If you go down, so on the little route between St Ives and Porthminster, there's a nice little alleyway that's kind of tucked away next to a restaurant and it leads you out to this view which is insane. So this is what it looks like. So you've just got this really cool little viewpoint. And then there's like a tiny little ledge bit so you could just sit here and have a coffee if you wanted to but it's so cool. And then that's the little restaurant there. But it's so nice. And then the little alleyway, like I said, is tiny, so it's just a teeny little slither that you can barely see, but it's really cool. We walked down to Portminster, Port like I said. Wow, these are loud seagulls. <laughs> we walked down, like I said, and we've ended up just sat on the beach having a cider. We've got a pole goon, which is a sparkling apple cider. James has got a berry one, and it's a Cornish cider. When in Cornwall, we drink Cornish cider. So I'm just having a little chill. It's not sunny or anything, but it's quite nice because it's just really relaxing, really quiet, apart from the seagull that's currently kicking off. <laughs> Other than that, it's really nice and quiet. But there's two of them now. Where are we, Jamesy? Carvis Bay. Carvis Bay. We got back to the campsite at around six and decided that, well, no, correction, I decided I didn't want to be <laughs> in the tent because I think if we were there I'd get bored within two hours and want to go back out especially because we don't really have any games or anything with us so we've come back to Carvis Bay third beach of the day and we're gonna have a little drink potentially have something to eat seeing how we feel um, and just have a little chill to be honest because it's quite nice sometimes to just have like a nice little relax and just yeah just chill so we're gonna go well how do we get in because that's not Carver's Bay Hotel up there. Is it down that way? Because it's the brown building, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going to go and get ourselves something to drink. Good evening. As I said, we've come to Carver's Bay for a little dinner slash drink. We did end up going for dinner. We've had pizza and I've got a nice large glass of bread because I haven't had red wine in so long. And I just really wanted a glass. Like sometimes it's just so nice to have one with pizza and just, oh, it's a nice like warming, it's like a warming but cold drink, isn't it? Like it's nice. <laughs> it's like mulled wine, it's just perfect. So we're just having a little sit, eat, overlooking the bay, watching a granddad and a little kid dig a hole, which is the cutest thing ever. It's like the size of the child. And like just watching all the dogs run around. It's just really nice and really relaxing. And I just love it. And fun fact, this building behind me here is actually where the G7 summit was held a couple of weeks ago. Well, a couple of months ago now, because it was like a week before we were here, wasn't it? Yeah. So yeah, a couple of months ago it was held over there. Exciting stuff. I'm just sat on this little bar waiting for Lou and Gary. And we're thinking about getting an ice cream, but we're going to wait for them to turn up to get one. And then I think we're going to go walk down, because this is normally obviously you walk the water, and it's not. And people are walking their dogs on it. So I think we're going to go walk their dog on this bit, because it's all sandy and it looks really nice. Yesterday, this was literally all water. So it's really nice to see it all empty. It just looks really cool. Slight change of plan. We've decided to go on one of the little boats, because it's like 60 pounds for an hour. So we've got a little life jacket on, and we're going to go get in one of the little boats and just like self-drive round, which is going to be really fun. We've done that before, so. Yeah, also how cute is this? He's got his little life jacket on. <laughs>
So as you can probably tell, this is now the next day and I realised I completely forgot to do a clip to explain but we actually headed up to Newquay to stay in a place called Fistral Beach Hotel. Didn't really do a clip to summarise where we were going or anything so this is now us in Newquay. Good morning guys, we have been quite productive this morning. James and I got up early and went to the gym, we watched the sunrise, we're now having breakfast and we're just waiting for our food to come and we're just having the most relaxing time ever and it's so nice to just be away from home in like a nice hotel because I can't honestly remember the last time, apart from um, the Royal Lancaster but I had room service so it didn't really come down. I can't remember the last time I've had like a really nice hotel breakfast and everything. So it's really nice isn't it, just being sat in a hotel. It feels really, really surreal, but really nice. I love it, it's really nice. I can't say really nice any more times or you guys have to start doing shots whenever I say it. But it's, it's lovely. We haven't really got a plan for today to be honest. It's our only full day in Newquay. So yesterday we ended up spending a longer time in St Ives because as you guys saw, we did that really cool boat trip. So much fun and so inexpensive. I think it was £60 for an hour, which between four of you is like £15 each. So affordable. Um, and I I don't know how many people you can fit per boat, but it's definitely about six, isn't it? And you can take dogs, which was our kind of key point to everybody. So, really lovely, great experience. And then we ended up just going to the beach, we went to the shops, we did a bit of everything and got here about half eight in the evening. So we kind of just chilled, had a bath in the room, which I'll show you around the room in a minute. And it was just lovely. I've had the best time ever, I just feel so relaxed. <laughs> I honestly just feel like the most relaxed person ever. We've just got back up to the room after breakfast, which was honestly heaven. It was so nice to have food that we didn't have to make ourselves. There was really lovely like hotel breakfast types. We had smoothies, we had pastries, we had fruit. I had smashed avo and poached egg on toast. James had a full English breakfast. Divine. Loved it. There's a lot of descriptive words going on this morning, but I thought I'd quickly give you a room tour because I did say I'd give you one when we get back to the room. And then after I've given you the room tour, I think we're going to just get ready and head out the door. So the next time you actually see my face will be when we're ready to leave. <laughs> this is what you see when you walk in, which is so strange because normally you walk into a bedroom, not the bathroom. But I kind of like it. I think it's quite cool. So here you've just got the sink with a giant mirror. And then they've given us all these Gaia products, which are really lovely. I used the body wash last night and it smells divine. So love that. And there's also a little kind of price thing here so you can see how much they are if you wanted to buy them. Towels and stuff are here with one of the personalised dressing gowns. I think this is my one, potentially. So they just say Fistral Beach and on the back it says what happens at the beach stays at the beach. And then, oh no, it's James's one. So we both got a personalised one, which is such a beautiful little touch. I loved that. Um, then obviously the bath. This is like the main feature, isn't it? This is what you come for. This is what you want. A beautiful freestanding bath, which is humongous. I don't even think I could lie in this and touch each side. Like it's massive and it just overlooks the beautiful view. So... Let me just take you around. Oh, there is a toilet here as well, but that's not really very interesting. But if I take you round, you've got this lovely curtain here, just in case you did want a bit of privacy. But this is the balcony. Ignore that. I basically had a shower this morning and completely soaked the floor. So we've got some towels drying. But this is the view, which is just stunning. It's so beautiful. It's just lovely. Like this way, you could you just see sea. Like you could literally just see sea. And then this morning, out really early, I'd say they probably started at about 7am, all these little surfers have been coming out, so it's been really nice to just watch them. And then when you come through here, this is the bedroom, so it's a nice big room. A humongous bed, really nice and big and spacious, you can even see the pillows are like gigantic. Really beautiful, and then you've just got a little mirror and everything over here, another mirror there, and then obviously a tea and coffee station, and then there's a little um, kettle and stuff in here, hairdryer and a few little goodies they left us, which I'll show you a clip actually of last night because they left us some really beautiful little bits on the bed. So we had um, some fudge, we had some skincare, we had some sunglasses, some gin, we had some like personalised dressing gowns, really cute little bits. And then obviously this is my side of the bed. And then out here we've got this gorgeous wraparound balcony which is the same as the one that you just saw from the, um, the bathroom. And it's beautiful, like the view is just so stunning. It's just so pretty and it was so beautiful this morning because the sun just kind of came up over the hill and it looked lovely. Um, but yeah, this is what it kind of looks like at the moment. And then as you can see, there's like a little seating area here where everyone's just sat having the little coffees and stuff. And it's just beautiful. So I think the plan for today is to kind of head up over to here, which looks like it's a general like nuki area. So we're just going to have a little walk around and see what's over there um, and just have like a full day out, I think.
We went for lunch. Well, we went for a coffee in Iggy. Oh, we just sprayed so much sun cream actually. It's so misty in here. We went for a little coffee up in Nuki. So we went to, is it called 12 Beach Street? Just had a really nice iced coffee. Did have a pumpkin spiced one just because it is September. So even though the weather doesn't agree, it is still technically autumn. So I thought I'd just have pumpkin spice and it tasted amazing. Like it literally tasted so good. But after that, we decided we weren't really that hungry because it's really hot today. And you know when you're hot and you just don't really want food as such, like they didn't have any salads or anything on the menu. And I'm such a sucker for cold food when I'm hot. So we decided to come back to the hotel. We've got into some swimmers and, and we're gonna head out to the beach, which is literally right outside of the window. So we're gonna go and have a little sit on the beach, read a book, chill, maybe grab something to eat down there because there is a big like beach hut house situ. So we might go in there and maybe grab something to eat, maybe like an ice cream or something and just have a nice beach day. So yeah, exciting. Are we, are we glad I did my hair today? Because I'm so glad I did my hair today. I got so windswept on the way back that I just chucked it on top of my head and I don't plan on taking it back down until dinner. <laughs> Also thought I'd quickly mention, because I know I'll be asked, this swimsuit is actually from Topshop last year. I think I got it last like May, um, but I'll try and link similar because it's really cute. It's just like a little ribbed scalloped number. Very, very cute if you want to be covered up but still want something nice. And it's the kind of thing as well that like, if you wore some high-waisted cute trousers, it looks like a top. And then our beach towels, I actually got from H&M um, earlier this summer. And they're just these really like cotton towels that are beautiful. And I think they were about 12 pounds, maybe a bit less, but really good for if you are going on a trip and you want some lightweight towels and don't want anything that takes up too much space. They're also just a bit nicer and a bit more aesthetic, so I really like them. Um, and they're just really good for just chilling on the sand. They don't like collect all the sand up or anything, which I quite like. So yeah, off we go to the beach. I'm taking this with me as well because I'm determined to finish it before we leave. <laughs> Oh my goodness, we've just had the most relaxing time ever at the beach. We walked all the way along to the little beach hut vibe at the end, which is like a couple of shops and stuff. Had a cider and then walked all the way back along in the sea. Oh, it was heaven. And then we basically laid on the sand for quite a while. Didn't realize the tide was like nearly touching our toes. So we quickly came back up and we're gonna head into the spa for some treatment, not treatments for like, we haven't booked any treatments, but we're gonna head down for like relaxation. So like go in the steam room and sauna, like that kind of thing. And just have like a really nice relaxing afternoon to be honest, because it's just been the most relaxing day, hasn't it? It's been yeah. so lovely and just chilled. And I think that's exactly what we needed after a few full on days. We just needed that time to just relax and do nothing. So I'm really grateful that we've done it. And I'm really glad that we've had like just the massive chill day. And then obviously tomorrow we're gonna to go on a little hike, I think, and then head back home. So it's gonna be a potentially quite a busy one tomorrow. I mean, even if we do nothing in the drive, the drive's big enough. So, so yeah, we're gonna head down. I'm gonna take my makeup off, don't worry. I'm not gonna to go to a spa with my makeup on. That's a very silly move. So next time I see you, I'll have no makeup on. I don't know if I'll be able to film anything in the spa just because I want to respect privacy of other people. And if there's anyone else in there, I don't want to get them in it or anything. Like I don't want to make them feel uncomfortable. So if there is clips, it means we're on our own. If there isn't clips, it means there was other people. But yes, I will see you in a minute. <laughs> So we are back from the spa, couldn't film anything because there were so many other people in there. There was like four or five other people and I didn't really want to be like getting cameras out and stuff because I think it's really like, I don't know, I feel like a spa is just not the place to get a camera out when everyone's in swimsuits and stuff. And I just wanted to enjoy myself. So we kept the camera up here, but it was so lovely and relaxing. Not the biggest spa in the world, like it's a pool and then there's a jacuzzi and a sauna and a steam room, but it's more than enough space and really nice and kind of zen and just peaceful. And I really like the fact that everyone kind of kept to themselves. So it's still kind of stuck to the COVID guidelines of like not all being in the steam room at once kind of thing. So really lovely. And then we came back up, had a little bit of a chill and got ready for dinner. So I thought I'd quickly show you what I'm wearing. It is the same dress I was wearing earlier, but I've changed back into it just because I really like it and <laughs> I already do have it in yellow and I just thought I'd put it back on again. So this is my outfit for this evening. So we've gone with a free people dress, which is this little blue number that I'll leave linked. And then I've got my little Zara kind of muley things on, which look really cute. So they're kind of like, they're kind of like little one toe strap heels. 
and I think I got them in spring but I can't honestly remember but I did get this dress about a week ago so first time I've worn it is today on the hottest day and it's just so perfect because you can dress it up or down like it just works for pretty much everything so yeah um we're gonna head out for dinner now and pop down to the June bar and we've got a lovely three course dinner so very excited cannot wait to try the menu they do have really good vegan and vegetarian options so I'm buzzing because normally I really struggle to find anything without cheese but there's so many options and they also have sticky toffee pudding with vegan ice cream which makes me so happy because it's my favorite dessert ever so we're gonna pop down and I'll show you what dinner and stuff looks like also, we're gonna ignore the fact that I sound a lot more like nasal and congested. I think from sleeping in the tent and being really cold for a couple of days, I've just got really bunged up and like coldy. So I've bought some strepsils, I've had lem sip, and I think I'm good. So just ignore that. I do sound a little bit more like, but I'm fine. I'm alive, it's not COVID, we're good. Make sure you follow me on Instagram if you want to see that before you see it on here because obviously the vlog will be coming later. But if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell and all that jazz and hopefully we'll have more travel content coming soon. But yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here guys. Bye bye.